Hello guys, I would like to make the first explanation of the Kinesis gear, how it works, how it's set up. So let's start. This is the most basic system of Kinesis software. It is Vector. It has three main windows. It, is, it has show overview, where you have listed all the cues uh, you've been programmed. Uh, the, you can you can create four groups of the cues: the red, the blue, the green, and the yellow. Uh, you have also uh, the channels, uh, windows, where you create. Uh, basically, each drive has the one particular channel dedicated to one drive. So it's, it is very similar to uh, to the program like lights or, or something like this. Uh, so here you, you add channels. So basically, if, if I double click here, then you can push, create, create. <clears throat> so you create more channels. And each channel has a settings of uh, the motion device that you want to control. So this is the first window. And here you put default speed, default acceleration and deceleration. Uh, you choose the address. The same address needs to uh, be chosen in the drive itself. You, you choose the protocol. Uh, it depends. You use Apex system or elevation. Um, the next thing is you need to always uh, choose the personality. So. The, the, the unit, the device that you currently control. Uh, for example, you can uh, you, you can control a beam trolley, you can control chain hoist, uh, you can you can really you can really have a lot of a lot of amazing gear here and uh, make a custom show or or just a simple hoist like like here we have on this show. Uh, the other thing you can you can do you, you can uh, connect the Libra cells. This is elevation system, so it got no no uh, load cells built inside the device. So you just you just bring uh, the Libra shackles, and this is this is separate system. So we can have a load monitoring system on live. And uh, this is very important part. Here you set up the limits. Uh, so you set up the upper and the lower uh, lower limit of the travel. This is soft limit. So if if you cross, if you want to cross above or under, the system will block you. Will block your movement. So you can secure that you're not gonna hit uh, the screen uh, to the stage or uh, go. You know too much uh, too high um, so this is very very important to set up your limits uh, when you set up the hoist you need to always tell the hoist in which position it is currently in real life so this is this is very important when you create the queue uh, you click for example empty queue so it adds here the queue and uh, in my in my channel view i put i put the target so if you level all the all the hoist and tell them that they are at one meter height then you can tell them to go let's say to, to half meter above the floor it put all the standard acceleration and deceleration parameters and the speed but you, you can you can of course change it for the elevation system the maximum speed is 400 millimeters a second uh, we recommend to, to use uh, 100 at maximum uh, before you check that everything works properly and there is no collision with other objects or you can you can go uh, below that it's, it's also okay uh, you can you can mark this queue as uh, in different color <clears throat> so you can have it in uh, in blue here let's let's call it service service 
Yeah, now now it's like a service queue. Uh, if you want to manually uh, move the hoist, you, you have this option as well. Um, for this, uh, for this, you have to go to Palette and create a group of hoist. Uh, here is the group of six hoists, we call it screen, uh, so we can uh, move up or move down entire group of hoists or we can choose uh, one hoist from the group and move only this hoist. <coughs> you need to be very careful because if you have a big uh, LED screen uh, then probably you can, uh, you can move one hoist and shift entire load of, of, of other hoists uh, to one side, which can be very dangerous. So to avoid any mistakes on here, uh, we recommend to put uh, to, to switch on group auto hold. Uh, so if any hoist from the group uh, will go above or below uh, five centimeters, then the entire group stops and you cannot move it further. So is is the protection that uh, you not overload the hoist. So we click apply, and now you can move entire group. Uh, if you want to level one particular hoist, then you need to switch off auto group hold, and that's here you need to be very careful. Uh, I hope you enjoy my video. If you have any questions or comments, please DM me or drop me a message. Thank you.